Welcome back to Pacific Beach Street. Sam, you're not eating Corinne's birthday cake, are you? No. Sam, I'm gonna go find out about diabetes and I'd love it if you'd come. What do you think? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Taro, corned beef, takeaways, and obesity have always been words jokingly associated with the Pacific Island culture. But the joke is turning sour because our people are losing their limbs, sight, and health, or because of the other word, diabetes. So how do you get tested for it? And if you've got it, what can you do about it? I'm off to find out. I'm here at the Green Lane Clinical Center to meet diabetologist Dr. Paul Drury to find out a bit more. Hi, Paul. How's Good it going? Morning, Mike. No. I know there's type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. What's the difference? The big difference is that type 1 is predominantly a disease of younger people, where the pancreas, which is the organ in the tummy, doesn't make enough insulin. Type 2 is more a disease of older people, though that's changed recently. And it's a mixture of not making quite enough insulin, but also the insulin that you are making not working properly on the cells. How much of a problem is type 2 diabetes within the Pacific Island community. It's now at the stage of where it may be at age 50 or 60, 30 or 40 percent of people have actually got diabetes if you test them. Why is that? It's largely because of the obesity. I mean, clearly Pacific Islanders, Maori and Asian people have a higher risk of diabetes. The strain that obesity puts on the body brings this out much earlier. Now, I know just about every Pacific Islander knows someone that's lost a leg, a foot or a toe to diabetes. How does it get to that stage? It takes a long time to get to that stage, and one of the things that's been going wrong is that people haven't been diagnosed early enough. What's now clear is that if we do pick up diabetes relatively early, there are very good effective treatments that will control the sugar, and if the sugar's controlled, you don't get the damage to the eyes, to the kidneys, and to the blood vessels that go to the foot and the heart. So how do you know if you've got type 2 diabetes? Really, you don't feel unwell until you've got diabetes really bad. What we're tending to do now is to incorporate routine checks in people's GP visits so that we actually test the blood sugar for diabetes, which is the only way you can be absolutely sure. And the more you have it in the family, the more your weight's up, the less exercise you take, then the more you're at risk. Thank you very much, Paul, for talking to us. I've never been tested for diabetes, and I've got like three paranoid flatmates out there that probably need to be tested. Let's get the team, and we'll give you answers here and now. Just take a seat. Okay. okay. Do you have any symptom of having diabetes, like drinking a lot of water, going to the bathroom? No. It's 5.2. It's pretty good. So, Millie, this measures the amount of sugar that's in my blood. Yes. What's a high risk number? If you come here today, your know, sugar level about 20s, and I'll be cautious about it, but I need more information about it. Hi, Karen. Hi. Since it's, I hear that you come from a family history of diabetes, it is important to, to do this test. It's 5.6. I'm happy with that range. My little sister has type 1 diabetes. Ouch! All right, that's 4.8. Is that good? That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> diabetes free. <laughs> no diabetes. So we're all diabetes free, but I'm off to meet someone that actually lives with diabetes. I'll see you guys later, eh? Okay, see you later. Guys, meet Saya, who was a type 2 diabetic. How did you find out you had diabetes? I was having a high fever. Yeah. And I went up to see my doctor. And then the doctor said to me he's going to test everything. That's what uh, come up. I have that uh, disease. What sort of medication do you take? Pills here. How many so of these do you have to take? Two in the morning and two in the afternoon. And that's it? Yes. Sounds pretty easy. Very easy. <laughs> Very simple. Do you have to be careful about what sort of food you eat? When you get that disease, you, you have to keep away from lemonade and, and all sort of uh, uh, sugar drink. Does anybody else in your family have diabetes? Yes, four of us. Um, have that disease. Two in Tonga, my elder sister and one my brother, the, they have it very badly and end up cut their leg off. They both had their legs amputated? Yeah. Does that scare you at all that you've got diabetes and it could happen to you? No, no, because I always keep my tablets with me all the time and I stick to it. So because you're taking your medication, you've got your diabetes completely under control? 
Yes, that's the only way to go. Well, thank you very much, Saya, for talking to us. Yeah, thank you very much. There you go, it's as simple as taking just a couple of tablets a day and also really simple to get tested. If you have diabetes or any of your parents or grandparents have it, check out the website below and we'll see you back at the house. See you later. In the spirit of love and family, we're giving away some free stuff, starting with this PBS puffer vest. And this Age of Empires Gold Edition. And this latest album from LMNP, their backslashing, headbanging, bunch of mean, rocking mongrels. What are you doing? There was too much information. Shut your mouth! Just smile and nod. Maybe they won't hear anything. Now, if you want to win these prizes, just log on to our website and tell us what forest Kalia goes mountain bike jumping in. That's after the break. See you then. Smile and nod. Good boy.